Hey, this is Barry and Holly of the WQSP Morning Show. Thank you for listening to our podcast, and we want to say a special thank you to our sponsors. Looking for the ultimate day out? Dive into the excitement at the Gadsden Mall. From latest fashion finds, one-of-a-kind shops, we've got something for everyone. Craving a bite? Indulge in a culinary adventure with a world of dining options right at your fingertips. Don't miss out on top-notch entertainment. Bowling, games, mini golf, box office films, so much fun for all ages. Experience it all at the Gadsden Mall, where shopping, food, and fun come together. Visit us today at the Gadsden Mall at 1001 Rainbow Drive, Gadsden. Time to rise and shine and get your morning started with Alabama's award-winning morning show. Hey, you're going to want to listen to this? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Broadcasting live from high atop Alabama's beautiful sand mountain. your hosts, Barry. Normally, if given a choice between doing something and nothing, I'd choose to do nothing. But I will do something if it helps someone else do nothing. I'd work all night if it meant nothing got done. And Holly. Was I wearing a tiara when I came in here? Because if you happen upon it, will you have Lady Penny face retrieve it and send it post hence? Ooh, someone's being naughty, not nice. You know, Santa's watching you. Good morning at 6.08. It's a Tuesday. Beautiful morning. Boy, it feels good. 69 on the outside, warming up to about 90. Today, a little more humid. Ooh. Yeah, a little more humid this week. Uh, slight chance of rain comes in later, but today there's no chance of rain. Uh, love Redbone. Oh, yeah. Come and, and get your love. Yeah, that's so, it's, I love it because, let's listen to it. Okay. That's good. That's just good music. Yeah, that's just good music. I'll give you a heads up. There's a police car sitting in front of the station. And, <laughs> yeah. And the if you're driving them, for, they're probably listening to us. Scared me to death. <laughs> it did me too. It's parked right in the middle of the median where we have a turn lane to turn into the station. And yeah. It's like dark, dark, dark at 3.30. So when I pull up, uh, the lights hit something. And then, then I'll, I said, what is that? <laughs> then I said, it's a car. I oh, know. Oh, it's a police car. There was two sitting in the medium when I went to go get oh, my breakfast at Jack's. Yeah. yeah. Hope we didn't wake y'all up. So <laughs> hope everything's good. But I'm sure they're going to have the lights or the sun's coming up. Yep, yep, yep. Just a little heads up. Uh, it's going to be a nice day today. Uh, things going on. We'll be talking football. The uh, preseason college football poll is out. A lot of people wait for this. You know, the polls, the preseason means really nothing. Right. It just gives you something to talk about, more mm-hmm. water cooler talk. But of the 25 teams in the top 25, nine are from the SEC. Really? That is amazing. That is. Close to half. So Alabama, Auburn, nope. George, what? No, nope. no Auburn. What? Not in there. I'm, I'm just telling you. That's crazy. Yeah, Georgia's number one in the preseason poll. And then uh, Texas, oh, by the way, Ohio State's two, Oregon three, which I think they got that one wrong since the Bo Nix left. I don't yeah. think they'll be as good this year. But Texas is four. Yes, Texas, because they're now officially in the SEC. Which is so weird. It is weird. Uh, then Alabama's number five. Ole Miss is six. Missouri's 11. LSU's 13. Tennessee, 15. Oklahoma, also in the SEC now. 16. And Texas A&M's 20. So there you have it. Mm-hmm. So almost half are in the SEC. Oh, wow. Yeah, top 25. That's so cool. Yep, we'll be talking more about that. Other things going on. uh, The Student Athlete of the Week, speaking of football, uh, well, any sport really, we'll be bringing that back coming up in just a few days. You'll have a chance. Schools can nominate a a student athlete. The key to this one is you must be an athlete and you must be a good student, Mm -hmm. like a 3.0 grade point average. Mm Mm-hmm. So we had this back when I was in the day. First of all, I wasn't a good athlete, and I wasn't a good student. Oh, no. So I would never have been up for this one. You weren't a good athlete? I thought you were. Well, in my mind, I was. I thought you were good at basketball. Yeah, well, at Crossville, you played every sport. Oh, pretty much. oh, okay. Yeah, you pretty much had to. Because it was small and you yeah, needed you didn't, bodies. Yeah, you didn't have enough players. So, <laughs> but, but anyway, we'll be doing that coming up very soon. And uh, uh, we're getting ready for high school football this Thursday, our first game on the radio. Be a hamper with the Jamboree game. I can't wait. To, I'm actually going to go to that because yeah. I can't wait for football season. Sure. I just want football. There's I love a lot of it. football. A lot yeah. Of football. Yeah. So, you know what? That's coming up. How'd you know? Other things you need to know this morning uh, Tuesday, August the 13th. So, if you're superstitious, today is uh, the 13th, but Tuesday the 13th. Yeah, we're not on Friday. I know. 
There's a 13 in every month. Are you superstitious? Um, I'm a little stitious. <laughs> not super. <laughs> not stitious. super. I'm yeah. just a little stitious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Guess what today is? I, I don't know. Today is National Kool Aid Day. Kool Aid, hold on. Hey, Kool Aid! Oh, yeah. Kool Aid here, bringing you fun. Kool Aid got That's creepy. That's the old creepy commercial of that giant picture of Kool-Aid. Busting through the wall. That was running through. Busting, that was scary. When <laughs> that you were, was weird. That used to creep kids out. I know. And he would chase after things and it's a big giant picture of Kool-Aid. <laughs> I, I love no. Kool-Aid. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love Kool-Aid. It was invented in 1927. Hmm. The most popular flavors are number three, grape. Okay. I don't love grape. No. Number two, cherry. We always had cherry at home. I like cherry. Always had cherry. I like cherry. And number one is tropical plants. I would not have guessed that. I wouldn't have either, but I guess that's the most popular one. So. Yeah. So what about you? When we were little, mother would always have a, like a pitcher made and mostly sugar. It's, it's mostly sugar, period. Is it? Yeah. And then she would sometimes in the summertime dump out the ice tray and pour the Kool-Aid in the ice tray, then put that in the freezer so you could have little cubes of uh, Kool-Aid. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, those are good. Did you know that you can dye your hair with Kool-Aid? I didn't know that. Yeah. It it works on lighter hair people, so people with like blonde hair. Yeah. But you can dip your hair into Kool Aid and dye just the ends of it. Would yeah. it be sticky? No, you wash it and it it dyes it. So just without the sugar, just the, the yeah, just Kool-Aid the color, the water. Yeah, just the coloring. Uh, and yeah. I know that you can dye Easter eggs with Kool Aid. Yes, you can dye Easter eggs with Kool Aid. You can yeah. also dye some fabrics. Hmm. So it's an, it has multi person. Purposes. I know you can tell when somebody's drinking Kool Aid. They've got the Kool Aid mustache. <laughs> yeah. And it stays there a while too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, according to an analysis of nearly two million tweets, one population is far more foul mouth than any other. I would have to say the U.S. The U.S. is by far the most foul mouth country <laughs> with cuss words <laughs> featuring in 41.6 of every thousand tweets wow. analyzed. Almost that half have. of every tweet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, 41 percent. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Following behind are the British with 28.6, Australians with 26, yeah. and the country that swears the least oh. is Kuwait. I wonder why. I don't I know. Guess they Maybe have better they, manners than we do. They they probably do. Yeah. When it comes to the United States, Maryland says the most cuss words. Ooh. I know. Wonder why. I don't know. Maryland. Maryland. Where, why are y'all so know. mad up there? I, I saw that Baltimore is like the number one city to cuss in. Really? Baltimore. Wow. I don't know what happens. What's going on there? Is there a sailor port there? <laughs> I think there is. Okay. That's okay. Probably. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Issue solved. Yeah. And then followed by Louisiana and Georgia. Yes. South Dakota uses them the least. Yeah. Alabama ranks number 17 for the most used cuss words. And Mobile is the city in Alabama that uses the most. I don't agree with that. No? I think it's Albertville, Boaz, Gunnersville <laughs> because of 431. <laughs> yes. You're right. Because of the highway. Yes, that is a good point. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah, yeah, I know. So at least Alabama's finally out of the bottom in something. Yeah, we're... <laughs> but it's in cussing. Yeah. <laughs> we cuss yeah. a lot. Is that, I'm wondering, and like Mobile... Isn't that another well, yeah, port? Yeah, it is. Okay. Could be. Could be, yeah. What's, what's wrong with Mobile? Why are you so unhappy there that you're cussing all the time? Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Now i got a question for you. Okay. If you had to choose between eating bacon every day... Oh, I love bacon. Okay. Or being skinny the rest of your life, the question is... Okay. Would you choose Applewood or Hickory Smokes? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I would have to have bacon. I have to have bacon. I don't care how skinny I am. Could be. I want my bacon. I had some this morning. <sighs> That's like my favorite food. Yeah. Bacon. That's a tradition with my girls. We always wake yeah. up to bacon on Saturdays and Sundays. Because it smells so good when it's oh, cooking. Oh, my gosh, yes. Yes. That's, that's how I get them out of bed. Do you like it cooked to the point it's like this so brittle and it's... No. No. Mom calls that brickle. Brickle. Yeah, with a K. Oh. Uh huh. Is that a real word? Um, I think it's part of the Southern Dictionary. Oh, is that a cuss word? It could be. Yeah. I don't know. Because we cuss a lot here, according to this study. <laughs> brickle. Brickle. Yeah. No, I like it limp. 
Okay. I like it. I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. It's uh, the ready to cook. Gotcha. And it says put it in 45 minutes. I don't like minute. it that long because it's too rubbery. Mm, I love it. It's almost like it's eating sushi or something. No. I love sushi too. Yeah, I don't so like that sushi. might be why. Yeah, I like it when it's almost burnt but not quite there. No. Yeah. You like it crunchy. Crunchy, yes. No. Yeah. Well, it could be LT. Okay, okay. Yeah. on a good BLT, maybe, yeah. but I still like it chewy. Okay, mm -hmm. so today have some bacon with your, your Kool-Aid. Yeah. You're good to go. Yeah, it's 616. WQSB, mornings with Barry and Holly. And since you've been gone, a lot of things going on. Well, the Olympics are over, sort of. There's still one story they're trying to sort out. Have they, have they settled this yet with Jordan uh, Childs? I don't know. This one frustrates me. The Court of Arbitration for Sports rejected USA Gymnastics' appeal to re reconsider the decision regarding Jordan no. Childs' bronze medal. I know. So they're even, not going to even consider it. Even with video evidence. Well, there's evidence showing that she should have the medal, and they're saying no. No, we're not going to reconsider it. You know who they should be penalizing? Yeah. The judges. Yeah. Because these athletes have put their mm -hmm. heart and soul and years of training into yeah. this. And they shouldn't be doing a yo-yo back and forth. No. Judges, make your call and yeah. then go on. If nothing else, give both of them a bronze. Yeah. Have two bronze medal winners. Because Jordan Childs of the U.S. is now apparently not going to get it. The U.S. says they're not through. But some sources say, yeah, you are. Because they, they say it's over. It's done. I know. The U.S. is still fighting for her. Yeah. But the, the, I hate that. I know. Because I like her. I know. It's crazy. Fox TV has sold almost all its commercial spots for the 2025 Super Bowl already. With the report saying they will get $7.5 million for a 30-second ad. What if you're a salesperson for Fox? Oh, man. And you sell one commercial. You're set for life. Your percentage, I don't know what you get, but $7.5 million <laughs> yeah. for a 30-second commercial. So when we watch the we watch Super Bowl next year, imagine... That 30 second commercial goes by. Yeah. Somebody wrote a check for $7.5 million for that. That is amazing. Let me look some of that real quick. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I'm tapping. And some companies buy more than one, if you've noticed. They buy, say, two or three. So I can. They say that they reach so many millions of people worldwide that it's worth it. Okay. It's not confirmed yet, yeah. but Molly Cyrus. Is who I know. No, I know. She's not going to perform at halftime, is she? That's what they're saying. Oh. Is, that's what most people are predicting that it's going to be Molly Cyrus. She'll have her clothes off by the first drum beat. <laughs> Bump up there, so she's naked. <laughs> It'll be like Janet and Justin <laughs> Janet all over Jackson again. times ten. Yeah. <laughs> what don't Janet they Jackson do? Why don't they get a country person? Get I don't Luke, know. Luke yeah. Combs, Morgan Wallen. Yeah. Yeah. Or. Post Malone, put him Post, on there. Yes. Why don't they get the three of them? Post, Luke, and Morgan. Yes. That would be a halftime show. That would be a good one. Yeah. You need to write in and tell I'm them making, that. I'm calling Mr. Fox. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a survey was released yesterday that says 45% Americans, so that's almost half, mm -hmm. are already tired of the pumpkin spice flavor. Yep. <laughs> you know. It's not even out yet, but people are already saying well, enough is enough. Last year, yeah. and the year before, and the year before, and the year before, I was obsessed with pumpkin spice. Why? I loved it. it, it I didn't even really the like smell, it that the much. The flavor, the combination. Both, it yeah. just reminded me of fall. I knew that fall okay. was coming, sure. and so I loved it. But the thing is, is I'm burnt out. Yeah. And everybody tags me in pumpkin spice stuff. Like, all my friends tag me in pumpkin spice stuff. And I'm like, I don't know how to tell you all this, but I'm kind of... So you don't want anything to do with pumpkin spice this year? Nothing? Y yeah. I'm not gonna, even a coffee? Yeah, or I'm going to get... I'm going to have some... I'm not breaking up with it completely. Well... I'm just taking a little slower. Okay. You told me off the air that there's actually pumpkin spice toilet paper. I was joking, Barry. I think there really is. I think there really is. We saw that online last uh, year. Pull it up in a minute. Okay. All right. Pumpkin... Can, spice toilet paper. I think there really is. And I think you, you're right. makes you wonder why... Do you need any kind of scented? Is it okay? Wait a minute. What? Pumpkin spice toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, there is such a thing. It's on Amazon. It's uh, a gag gift, but it's a pumpkin spice scented <laughs> toilet paper. Let me see how much you can buy this for. Yeah, it was currently unavailable. Oh no, I, I, it's hard to believe. I know. 
<laughs> my rear end was asking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. Can we please, please get some of that. Yeah, they've got some pumpkin spice toilet paper on Amazon. But that's when you've gone too far. That is. That's too far. 58% yeah. believe there are better fall flavors that don't get the attention they deserve, like cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Totally agree. Love that smell. Yes. That I smells love. like Christmas to me mm-hmm. when you walk in, like the cinnamon in the air. Yeah. I love cinnamon in anything. Yeah. Salted caramel. Sure. Oh, that's definitely a fall that's flavor. And candy apple. Yes. Candy apple makes you think of going to games, going to fairs, going carnivals. To festivals. Festivals. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I love, love candy, candy love apple. Love the smell of cinnamon and apple. Can I tell you an irrational fear? Sure. I'm always afraid I'm going to rip a tooth out when I'm eating a candy, candy apple. apple. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you some ever those, think about that? Yeah. Some of those are hard as a rock. Yeah. Yeah. And even the caramel apples, I'm scared I'm going to yeah, pull a tooth pull a filling out. out pull them. Something. Mother Dollars, you're going to pull your fillings out. <gasps> That's so scary. Yeah. Ooh. I don't want that to happen. No, but it could happen. Yeah, it could. Yeah. All right, 631. Mornings with Barry and Holly here on Alabama's country giant, WQSB. Talking sports this morning. Yeah, things you need to know this morning. Uh, well,. Football, we talked about the uh, AP Top 25 preseason football poll is out. And uh, Georgia, number one team in the country. Then it's Ohio State, Oregon, Texas, and Alabama. SEC has nine teams in the Top 25. And you put up a post a few minutes ago telling everybody, good morning, you know, football just around the corner. Yep. Tell us uh, what, what what's your favorite team. Yeah. Who do you cheer for? Who do you pull for? And uh, looking over some of the posts, man, this thing has blown up in the past few minutes. I know. You can tell people are ready for their football. People are ready for football. Yeah, whether it's high school, college, or NFL, like uh, David Presley, Roll Tide Roll. Yes. Yeah, Dewana Durham says Roll Tide. Sheila Peppers Browning, Roll Tide. Brianna Masters, War Eagle. Crystal Pepper says, Good morning, War Eagle. Roderick Baldwin, Alabama football, and the UAB Blazers. Oh, yeah. Then there's Stacy. Matthews, Auburn Tigers, War Eagle, there you have it, but she says my husband is a diehard Alabama fan, and yes, it does get interesting. Oh, I bet it does. Yeah, so who else you got? I've got Jaron Harris says War Eagle. Hey, yeah. Tina Hester says JSU Gamecocks. Good one. Beverly Robertshaw says good morning. She's not pulling for either one. Oh. Chris Campbell says I am Roll Tide. Lindsey Brown says Roll Tide. Cassidy Sewell says War Eagle Auburn Tigers. Mm. Tess Young says Roll Tide forever. Janet McDowell, hey Janet, good morning. Roll Tide and good luck this year to the Boaz Pirates. Good, good. Uh, Barbara Brand says Auburn. Christina Pinnell, I'm up. Roll Tide. April Ivy, the Alabama Crimson Tide, of course, she says. Stephen Lang, a big old Alabama uh, picture here. Sarah Tyson goes with Auburn War Eagles and Plainview High School Go Bears. Jeremy Lack says, listening on my way to school. I get about 20 minutes. Hey, thank you for listening, Jeremy. Then there's Melissa and D. Williams. Auburn, Beth Hicks. Oh, Beth going for the San Francisco 49ers Ooh. and Alabama. So you got a few more? Yeah, I do. Um, Savannah Ruiz says, Kansas City Chiefs. And she, I'm wondering, do you like him? Because Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Roll Tide and Go Dogs. Robert Keith says, War Eagle. Carla Green says, Roll, roll, roll Tide Always. Susan Bray says, Auburn Tigers. Tina Hassan says, Bama, Roll Tide. And then I love this one. Yeah. Emily Colvin says, My daughter's team, Go Aggies. Oh, that's cute. Much like this one, Amber Blackwell says, Huge college football fan, but nothing beats watching my favorite player of all time, my son. Let's go, Cherokee County Warriors Middle School. There we go. So be sure and post your, your team by going to her Facebook page. We'll read some more coming up later on this morning at 643. Mary and Holly on Alabama's Country Giant, WQSB. Cody Johnson, Dirt Sheep, Top 5. This this week, what we found out this morning, Shabuzi, his reign is over two weeks in a row. Number one, a bar song has dropped off the top spot. Mm-hmm. And Nate Smith, Bulletproof, number one, his third straight number one song in the country. He's, that's three a good for song. Three for three. Three for three. He'll have a new single coming up very soon. Speaking of new singles, the new Jackson Dean song coming up next hour. Heavens to Betsy, love this song. It's our future hit this week. It's a good one. It's, it's a really good. sad one. It's it an is. emotional one. Well written, so it's coming up in a few minutes. So that'll be on the way. But first, time for the pile of stories this morning. What is going on today? 
So filmmaker James Wan, who is known for creating like Saw and The Conjuring. Ooh, the Saws. That's those are some of the creepiest movies oh, ever. Those scare me. I know. The con. I hadn't even watched The Conjuring. Yeah. I'm too scared. He's developing a new version of the of the classic Universal monster film. The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Did you ever see the original? No. Hey, it was good. For its time, it was, you look at it today and it's, you know, corny, hokey with a costume. Yeah, yeah. But it's creepy. It's It's got this creature that, this is what it says, these scientists discovered this, like, half human, half fish-like creature or Ew. whatever that lives in this lagoon. And I get, I, they've tried different versions of it, but the new ones just haven't had it. I think... Yeah, a good version of this could be really good. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Yeah. He did a good job with Saw and the Conjuring, he did. so we'll he see did. how it does. Yeah. Stranger Things actress Millie Bobby Brown, that is so hard for me to say. Well, she's adding one more name to it. She has added Bon Jovi to her name months after marrying Jake Bon Jovi, who is the son of John. Bon Jovi. John's son. Yep, John's son. So it's now Millie Bobby Brown Bon Jovi. Millie Bobby Brown Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. M B B B. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I could even say it. I just practiced. That's a, a, a yeah. lot of names. I even practiced off air. Bon Jovi. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like I didn't realize it. Because you see Bon Jovi, it's B O N J O V I, the yeah. group. Yeah, yeah. But then they spell it differently, of course. Yeah. Yeah, it's odd. Yeah. The fifth and final season of Stranger Things is expected to air sometime next year. Looking forward to it. I love Me Stranger too. Things. Yeah. Yes. She's, she's so good in this. It's 11. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Netflix, Netflix has given the go-ahead on an animated Ghostbusters series. The plot hasn't been revealed, but I think it'll mm. be a good one. Yeah, I finally saw the uh, the last one, the Frozen, what, Frozen Empire. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Did but it I have still... The- I still miss the originals. Now, Bill Murray and Dan Urquhart yeah. had a small part in it, and Ernie Hudson, but still, it wasn't the same as the, the original one, one and two. Those were great movies. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. You're right. And tonight, America's Got Talent is coming back. Yes, it's finally. on. Well, the with, Olympics took it off for two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's back with the live show. So this is the most exciting part it for is. me. Yeah. 44 acts will compete over the next four weeks. Tonight, 11 acts will perform, and tomorrow night, the results will show... And send some of the acts to the finals. Love AGT. So it's two hours tonight and one hour tomorrow night. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so you get to watch that on NBC tonight at 7. All right, 653 birthdays and Florida Georgia Line coming up. WQSB, mornings with Barry and Holly. Looking for the ultimate day out? Dive into the excitement at the Gadsden Mall. From latest fashion finds, one of a kind shops, we've got something for everyone. Craving a bite? Indulge in a culinary adventure with a world of dining options right at your fingertips. Don't miss out on top notch entertainment. Bowling, games, mini golf, box office films, so much fun for all ages. Experience it all at the Gadsden Mall, where shopping, food, and fun come together. Visit us today at the Gadsden Mall at 1001 Rainbow Drive, Gadsden. Okay, so what's the most unusual thing that your dog has ever swallowed, ate? What do you think? Can I say it? I, it's true. Well, well, first of all, the story come out. Okay. Uh, they did a study, and they were just asking people about the unusual things your pets have eaten. And it comes down to mostly dogs. Okay. However, I did have a cat once. Oh. There's old uh, tiny green army men. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, maybe yeah, an inch. So little tiny one. No, they were like little tiny ones. Oh. Little green ones oh. that you play with. I used to have a bunch of them. And my cat, I noticed it was over there coughing. <gasps> I thought it swallowed. It had like a fur ball coming up. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> it had tried to eat one of my army men <laughs> oh, and no. got it hung That's down his scary. throat. Did it, it was. cough it up? I had to, had to run it to the vet real quick because it was not coming out. Oh, my gosh. Because part of it was halfway down the throat and half of it was still... <laughs> Yeah. Stick it out. <gasps> That's awful. So the vet had to give it something to calm it down and reach in there and pull it out. And it was this little green army man. Oh, my gosh. Did it hurt the cat? No, it was fine. It was fine. Okay. Well, it, it probably hurt its throat because it had one of those <laughs> yeah. where the guy was holding rifle and the oh, rifle no. was probably <laughs> screwed. The cat was fine. But I didn't realize cats, but cats will eat stuff, too. But I think dogs, of course, are the worst as far yeah. as eating stuff. Yeah. They did a study just asking people, oh, what's the most unusual thing, item your dog has ever swallowed? And they, this is in the past few months. Here's some of the answers they got. Okay. Um, one, a woman removed her diamond ring to braid her hair, and her pug dog ate it off the <gasps> counter. Oh, 
Oh, no. Surgery to retrieve the ring cost $2,500. Oh, oh, no. Because it went down. They waited a few days for it to pass it. It wasn't coming out. Oh, they had to go in and retrieve 2, it. 2500 Now, look at some of these other ones, like a French bulldog that say ate a ball of yarn. Oh, no. And at the vet, they also found two screws in its stomach. What? It was Why? like a little four-legged Roomba running, yeah, around. Sure <laughs> running around, eating yeah. whatever it could find. Yeah. So what else did they eat? What about one dog who ate full, dirty diapers? No. Full. No, no. As in packed full. Say it ain't so. Lady said one fell out of the little diaper genie thing on mm -hmm. the floor. Dog grabbed it, ran off with it. Before they could get it away, it had already swallowed oh, it. God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he thought they had a treat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What about when he bit into it? That makes me want to gag. That's awful. Uh, one lady says a Great Dane ate her couch cushions, two of them, oh. completely gone. I can see that. They're big dogs. Yeah, I came home from work and there were no couch cushions on the, on the couch. Oh, I'd be they sick. Were gone. Oh, I'd be sick. Uh, one lady said a Polly Pocket, uh, one her dog ate Polly Pocket clothes, colorful Poops came out the other <laughs> the next few days, she said. And yeah. then a, a guy says his dog ate his linoleum floor, tile by oh tile. Oh, my gosh. $3,500 to repair. I wonder what kind of dog that was. I that don't is, know. Why would a dog a floor. eat flooring? Just chewing. You, you get a piece up, then you yeah. get a, probably another piece, and yeah. it just kept going. Okay. And one dog says, uh, the guy says he ran to the grill pulled a corn cob right off the grill and ate half of it before they could get it away from him. Oh, no. It that's just dangerous. just swallowed it down. Yeah, that's that dangerous. That is dangerous. Yeah. So, so what about you? For you? <sighs> the weirdest thing my dog's ever eaten, I'm going to whisper it so nobody yeah. hears me, it was my underwear. You ate your underwear? Yes. Why do they do that? Like out of the dresser? Out no. of the dirty clothes? Dirty clothes. No. Yes. I had a dog when I was living at home with my parents yeah. that Every time I would go into the, to get ready, I would see a pair laying there, chewed up. And I was no. like, it, it has to be the dog. Sure. And then, of course, I caught it. I caught him chewing it up, and then... He ate the whole under... Just... Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Did it make its way out? Yeah. And you know how the story <laughs> with Cleo the cat, how you had to pull the, pull string. the string... out of a tree end? I know what you're talking about. You had to pull the underwear? Yes. No. Yes. Wow. I had to. He couldn't get it out. He couldn't pass it. <laughs> That's horrible. So I stopped leaving underwear in the in the floor, you know, put them well, up. Put them never, up. Yeah. yeah. Some animals, they'll chew on whatever they can find. I know I'm not the only one, though. No. I cannot be the only one. I bet if you put this on Facebook, you'll have tons of stuff. Dogs yeah. and cats, probably other things. I'll put it on there. I'll say, what is the weirdest, what is the, uh, would you say weirdest? Weirdest thing your pet has swallowed. Okay. Put it that way. A couple of food stories. KFC, they're trying all kinds of new stuff, and they have a new sandwich. Uh, it's a chicken sandwich. The key is going to be the sauce on the sandwich. Oh. Okay, it's the, the new, it's the KFC sandwich. A premium, all-white meat, double-breaded, so a lot of breading. So you don't like a lot of breading. No. You won't like this and one. And I yet. don't like a lot of bread at all. A lot of breading on the, uh, the chicken. And it's extra crispy, and it's going to be served on a toasted, buttery brioche bun with crisp pickles. And here's the key. The... Uh, you choose one of the five sauces they put on there. Oh, you get to pick one? Yeah, you pick the one oh. you want. These are the ones they use on their, their nuggets. You get either honey garlic, mm. chipotle ranch, mm. mango habanero, mm. honey barbecue, or Korean barbecue. What is Korean barbecue? That's becoming yeah. so popular. I've, I've asked many people. It's a special spices they use in this barbecue uh -huh. that makes it unique and stand out. So we need to try that. Yeah, we do. So I don't think you'll like the sandwich, though, right? Cause no. Because it's, it's, so, it's, too, it's a lot of breading. Much, yeah. A lot of breading. Yeah. Just give me a good old grilled chicken sandwich. But how about some of these new chips? Now, these chips are going to hit the shelves nationwide this month, and they are the following. There's Lay's Wavy Tzatziki flavored. It comes from Greece. It's inspired by the Greek flavors of yogurt, lemon, dill, garlic, and other unique now, elements. we tried something a few months ago with yeah. tzatziki flavoring, and it's pretty good. It's really good. Yeah. And if you like the cucumber dip from Giovanni's, right. that's kind of like tzatziki. Ah, okay. Yep. And then good. there's a masala flavored from India okay. that has a fusion of spices including cumin, 
don't know how to say that word. Uh, coriander. Coriander, yeah. turmeric, turmeric, and pepper. Ooh. And yes. Well, spicy then. Yeah, a little bit spicy. And then they've got a honey butter from South Korea, mm. which is a mix of buttermilk, honey, and butter taste. That one sounds different. So which one of the three would you try first? The tzatziki. Yeah. Yeah. I would too. That one sounds good. I love that dip you're talking about. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. so cucumber dip. Yum. Yes, yes. So yes. check out more details on her Facebook page at 724. Barry and Holly on Alabama's Country Giant, WQSB. Oh, man. Mornings come on, man story. They say that uh, 45% of dog owners feel that their pet listens to them while they vent or while the owner is upset or talks that they say the dog listens. Hmm. Come on, man. You, hmm. I know they may look at you. Do you think they're really listening to what you're saying and know what you're saying? No, but I think that they can pick up on emotions. Okay. Like, when I'm yes. sad, Doug will come and sit with me. Okay. If I'm mad, he follows okay. me when I pace. Oh. Mm-hmm. Does he follow behind you when you're mad? Yeah. And then when yeah. I'm happy, he just wags his tail back. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I think they listen okay. as far as your tone of voice. Yeah. You know, but I wouldn't vent to my dog because I would be afraid that he would think that I was yelling at him. Oh, that's a good point. You know? And he would uh, get a little afraid. Yeah, I don't want yeah. to be afraid of me. Now, four out of uh, ten Americans claim their emotional health is improved by their dog. 100%, yes. Uh, I agree with that. Only four out, of, four out of ten? Four out of ten. I say ten out of ten. I agree. Those other... Five must be cat or lovers. Six, yeah, must have been on the yeah. been on the dog. I guess I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe could, some dogs just yeah, don't care. Period. It could be. They have part cat in them. They just don't care. Man, I love dogs. Did you see that Boaz school has like a, a support dog? Oh. Uh, Somebody told me that. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I have heard that there's a uh, an emotional support dog at Boaz High School. And those are like important. I said, it may not be true. It may be. I, a I love support and service animals. Oh yeah, I think I they're so too. important. So I think important. I need one. Yeah, I would I love agree. to have one. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. Uh, roughly three out of ten Americans feel like they see an improvement in their physical health because of their dog. Hmm. Main reason is if they take them out for a walk. Oh, yeah. The dog walks, so do you mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. Here's a weird part. They say that only 10% of cat owners admit that talking to their cats <laughs> helps them emotionally. <laughs> and I'm, I agree with that totally, yeah. totally. Yeah, because you're a cat person. <laughs> I'm a dog I've, person. I've had many cats, and you've yeah. seen some of my cats. Yeah. And some of them, just, they just don't care. <laughs> Some cats, maybe yours is different. Maybe it, whenever you're sad, it no, comes over I don't and think so. crawls up in your lap and <laughs> purrs Lick, and your tears licks away. and tries to help you feel better. But most of them, they don't care. No, they're cold. Cats are cold. They walk up to the food bowl and look at you like, okay. Where is it where, at? I don't know. Hello. Where are, you, where are you hiding it? Is this a game? <laughs> Am I going to have to kill you to get I know. my food? I feel like dogs are what they say, man's best friend. <laughs> They're man's best. And I know, I don't get me wrong. I love cats. I, I do. Love cats. I love cats. But they are, dogs are just more emotionally they are. sensitive than cats. I've never once come home from work when I had a cat, and the cat runs to the door, wags its tail, mm -hmm. and licks it's just so happy you're and home licks my hand when it is so emotional <laughs> no. you see cat tears crawling <laughs> rolling down his face i've never once seen that happen no I'm dogs never. different stories some will jump up and get on you and they'll pee everywhere they're just so I happy know. to see you i know they just get so excited they do. i know cats don't care you walk over to give it a belly rub, and it will bite you and tear you to pieces. I know. Like, they'll, their cats are so sweet. They do that. They're so sweet. They'll let you pet them. Five seconds. Five seconds, and then it's attack mode. <laughs> and it hurts. <laughs> I have scars on my arms from some yeah, cats. it happens. I got yeah. a question for you. All right. Oh, no. Oh, oh, this, okay. Why? Why did the poor dog chase his own tail? Why did the poor dog chase his own tail? He was just trying to make both ends meet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll give you that's a good one. Okay. What's, what's a dog's favorite mode of transportation? Um, I have no idea. Oh, no idea. A wagon. <laughs> I got one more. I got one, one more. more. Why do dogs run in circles? Don't know. 
Because have you seen how hard it is to run in squares? <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. All right, 739. WQSB. Mornings with Barry and Holly. Top of the morning for Holly's Knowledge Nuggets. And the first one you're telling me off the air about. This is interesting, and I don't know the last time I've done this. I know. It says some experts say freezer door handles are the most overlooked germy things in grocery stores and are rarely cleaned. They're probably the same at home. Yeah. When's like, the last time, like you said, when's the last time you clean your refrigerator handle? Door, I don't know. I don't know that I actually have Mm-mm. my door handle. I don't know if I, I mean, like, if I'm wiping and down, I'll yeah. grab the handles and clean them, but not, I don't think, oh man, I need to clean my refrigerator door handles. So at grocery stores, they're saying that's one of the least clean things for most, so the next time you go to open something in the freezer section, just think of all the hands Ew. that have been there before you, and that you're touching. I never thought been. about that. I guess I just trusted that the grocery stores cleaned them. You would think, but I, I've never thought about cleaning my refrigerator door handle, or freezer door. No. I haven't Another even... thing you don't think about is the the toilet handle. Oh, yes, you do think about it. You the better handle? think about it. Yes. You clean yours? Like with the flush. In public? Yeah. I use my foot. I know, but at home. Do you I, clean yours I at home? I use my foot. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Not at When's home. the last time you cleaned yours at home? <laughs> I'm avoiding the, the question. Toilet handle. I don't know, Barry. I don't either because you think know. about cleaning the seat and yeah. the, around the commode, yeah. but reaching up and doing the handle because think about that. I don't think about it. Because Roughly everybody who finishes taking care of business, they stand up, reach over and flush with and the same hand. And then go wash their hands. Yes, after they flush. Yes. I didn't uh, think about that. Ew, yeah. gross. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Researchers say that coworkers that hug get along better and are more productive. No. Hard no. Probably more get popped in the face, too. Don't touch me. <laughs> Don't come for me. Like, I love people, and I love to yeah. meet people and and love to be around people. Sure. But coworkers, don't <laughs> hug me. No. I don't want to hug from a coworker. Church people, it's something about it. It's okay. It seems like a church. Yeah. A little side hug. Yeah, a little side hug. But I don't know. what I'm with you. What is it? It's and we, weird. We get people that come in I hadn't seen in a while, and I'm like, ah, let me get a hug. How have you been? Sure. But just, uh, what are you supposed to do? Just walk around and say, let like me hey. go back there to Dale Stallings and be like, hey, Dale, you want a hug? I can say you're busy, but hey, how about a hug? How about a hug? Yeah. Then you not think that'd be a little that would unproductive? Be weird. Just walk out of the bathroom. Hey, I see you've been in the bathroom for 30 minutes. How about a hug? Yay, hey, a hug. Ooh, don't shake my hand, though. <laughs> no. I know you didn't wash, but I'll hug you. Yeah. The majority of single women surveyed say that they are not interested in dating a man who weighs less than they do. Whoa. I'm going to agree. Yeah, that's on, I don't, it's on you. I agree. I'm okay. not going to tell you my weight. Yeah. Because it's locked up tight in a safe. Nobody's it's business. Written somewhere. Yep. But it is scary to me to think about, which I'm, I'm not dating. Yeah. But to think about a man skinnier than me, <laughs> I guess. Smaller than me. I'm five foot three. He can't okay. be shorter than me. Couldn't be. But, no. I mean, he could, he could be. It'd be hard to be. It be would tough. be. Yeah, it'd be tough. But the weight thing, I don't want to. I don't want to be heavier than my wow. the guy I'm dating. No. So most women say, "Wow, that's well, interesting." Okay, so as a man, as yeah. a man, what do you think if a woman weighs more than you do? To me, it don't matter. If you like the person, you like the person, you like the person. Mm. No matter. And I, you say, "Oh, you're saying that," but what if they gain a thousand pounds? If you love them, it don't matter. I agree. I just don't think that weight matters at no. all. People I, put too much uh, emphasis on numbers, and the, their children pick up on this when they're little, and uh, they begin. I can't hear you. Um, oh. <laughs> and what? There's somebody I want to mention, but I don't know if I it's disrespectful. No, no, it's a famous person. I still wouldn't mention names. Okay. Uh, but I'm just saying. That's I, what I'm saying. Too many people pick up on, kids pick up on numbers. Yes. And then they begin watching their weight because they hear yes. adults talking about it. Yes. I have yeah. put my scale up at my house because I have noticed that my girls step on it. Uh, and then they'll, they'll say, oh, or what does this mean, mama? Sure. Or, is this good or bad, mama? See. And I've put the scale up like where they can't reach it because I don't want them to, uh, they're uh, seven and nine. Yeah. And I don't want them no. learning vanity and wait. Yeah, and don't worry about that. Yeah, that right? Just have fun. Have fun. That's what yeah. I tell them. Just be kids. Yep, Just be right. nine years old and yeah. seven years old. Sure. Yep. yep. All right, 7.53. Mornings with Barry and Holly here on Alabama's country giant WQSB. I am serious. 
And don't call me Shirley. Talking earlier about a, uh, a story about dogs and uh, swallowing things, mm-hmm. swallowing items, how bad it is, and sometimes a cat or two, but it's mostly dogs, and you put up a post asking, what is the strangest thing your pet has swallowed? Boy, a lot of good answers. Well, I wouldn't say good answers, <laughs> but un- unusual answers. Interesting, yeah. Like uh, Anna Marie Wilson says, a latex glove. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Melissa McSpadden says it wasn't her fault, but I gave her a Xanax. <gasps> gave her the wrong medicine. Oh, no. She slept the day away. I bet she did. <laughs> oh, no. Amber Blackwell says, my Zoe Grace, I'm guessing the dog, loves socks, rope toys, rocks, and the other day she swallowed a weight that goes on your fishing line. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. She said, I don't know how this wild thing is still alive. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, the vet is on speed dial, she says. Uh, Steve Livingston says, a cell phone charger cord came out the end in one piece. Whoa. Oh, and it still works. I hope the block wasn't on this thing. Surely not. I oh, that would be awful. <laughs> oh, he said, just kidding. It was too chewed up. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say, wow. Yeah. So what else you find? <laughs> um, Peyton Nelson says a baby pacifier. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. My dogs used to grab them and it looked like they were sucking you know, the past. You was so cute. What if it went out the correct way and <laughs> stuck a when it's... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could go past if it hit the hole just right. It just hit a block. Right there. It's like a plug. <laughs> All you can see is the tip of the pacifier oh, no. coming out. And it, what happens when you pull it? That would have hurt. That would be awful. <laughs> yeah. Deanna Schuller says the red strip around the slice of bologna, oh. it came out as a long no. red strip, too. Okay. <laughs> Ashley Harris says lighters. Ow. Oof. Oh. Um, what is corn hash? Um, Mahala uh, Themester says corn hash. It's food, I guess. Yeah, food. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Kim Freeman says the wiring out of an electric blanket. Oh my goodness! Ate the entire thing. It pa- a- he said that he passed it after a night at the vet. No surgery. She still has the picture. It was crazy. What I if the blanket was it. plugged up when it was chewing on it? Oh, that would light that dog up. Yeah, it would. Oh yeah. my gosh! Wow. Rebecca Kramer says toenail clipping, uh, oh. which reminds me of something Doug did. Yeah. When I trim Mayor's hair, I don't yeah. do like full haircuts, right. but I'll do like a quick trim. Sure. Doug licks up the hair. Oh. Yes. Why? And if I throw it Why? away, listen. If I throw it in the garbage, yeah. he goes and tries Gets to dig it? it out. The, yes. That's strange. It's weird. Yeah. I know. It is weird. What else we got? Justin and Lauren McComb says a TV remote control. Oh, no. Ooh, some of those are big. Uh, Joey Hollis, between the two, they have eight, five TV remotes, four pairs of shoes, three bottles of medicine, 15 hair ties, three Q-tips, and that's just what we found in the house. And a partridge <laughs> in a pear tree. <laughs> well, some of these dogs, they stay busy, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Katrina Bonham says a ceiling fan and linoleum flooring. Oh, Goodness. But we've only got a couple left. Let me read them. Okay. Vicky Cloud says a sleeping pill. It okay. kept us all night. <laughs> kept us up all night acting goofy. Oh, so it worked reverse on the dog. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. And Cherry Fontaine, she has the cutest little picture of a pug on here. Yeah, I think it's this. a pug. She says that this girl likes to eat June bugs. Oh. So she eats June bugs. Maybe likes to crunch. Uh, maybe. Maybe the juice in the middle. I don't know. <laughs> Crystal, and- <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Crystal Anderson says, same as Holly. My dog ate my undies. Uh, oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's not just you, then. It's, it's a lot of people. Me. Yeah. It's Dogs like to eat clothes. All right. It's 812. Country Music News is next. Mary and Holly. On Alabama's Country Giant, WQSB. WQSP's Country Music News. We talked about Shabuzi, a bar song, has fallen off the media-based country chart. Uh, by the way, Nate Smith Bulletproof is now number one. But it's still number one, Shabuzi, that is, on Billboard's chart. Oh. The Billboard Hot 100, Shabuzi's a bar song number one for the fifth total week. Wow. It hit number one for a couple of weeks, fell off, and now it's back again. In addition to topping the heart, the Hot 100, a bar song is also the first song to lead in streams, radio, airplay, and sales simultaneously since Adele's Easy On Me did this back in 2021. Wow. So that's how big a bar song is for Shabuzi. Mm, I like that. Yeah. Well, during a new interview, Post Malone shared the positive impact his two-year-old daughter has on his life and how much his life has changed for the better 
since she was born. I love that. Yeah. He has the initials DDP, which uh, is, I guess, her um, her initials tattooed on his forehead. <laughs> How about maybe a finger or a hand or an elbow? <laughs> Don't judge him. No, but wow. He wants it tattooed on his forehead. Okay. So he says it's always in the front of his mind. Okay. So he went on to credit his daughter and her mother for saving his life. He said, four years ago, I was on a rough path. It was terrible. Getting up, having a good cry, drinking, and then whenever you go lay down, drinking some more and having another good cry. Oh, my goodness. He says, I don't feel like that anymore, and it's the most amazing thing. And Post Malone has a new album coming out, uh, coming out this Friday, F1 Trillion. Can't wait Cannot to hear it. Wait. Yeah, I love Post, and here he is with his biggest song so far, number one for three straight weeks recently. I had some help on WQSV. Morning's Animal Story. I'm kind of confused on this one, but uh, police are looking for a kangaroo who escaped from a prison. What? My first thought, because that's what it says in the headline, kangaroo escapes from Czech Republic prison. In Prague, two kangaroos escaped initially. One returned to the jail on its own. Why are they there? Well, I'll get to that. But how okay, tough okay. is it out in Prague when the kangaroo gets out of prison and says, I'm going back in. It's <sighs> tough out here. The, it's tough for a kangaroo. The streets are not for me, man. Not for some animal with a pocket. <laughs> so, anyway, they warn the public not to approach the kangaroo and to contact authorities if they spot this one lone kangaroo that's still loose. Now, here's why they're there. Okay. They say they have a special prison program that allows inmates to develop farming skills, which I'm still confused. If you're de- developing farming skills, they have a kangaroo or kangaroos, rabbits, llamas, and roosters. Oh, okay. But farming skills, I guess they learn to take care of to get, do they take care of animals too or what? I don't know. Maybe they're they're emotional support kangaroos. <laughs> We have dogs. <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> but do they get, I mean, do, I don't know. I don't know. This one has me stomped. Uh, but coming out of a prison, I would be, they warn the public to be careful. I would too because you don't know. Maybe one has somehow smuggled a, a shiv out. He's got a kangaroo's got one in his pocket. <laughs> his pouch. You walk up to his pouch. You walk up there to grab it. He's and got a shaved off. A couple of them. Toothbrush. <laughs> Toothbrush and starts stabbing you. At, stabbing God, that's at you. violent. Well, they've been in prison. Hey, they've here's a stuff. question for you. Yeah. Do kangaroos have thumbs? I don't know. I don't know either. Hey, Siri. Do kangaroos have thumbs? Oh, no idea. (laughs) She said she had no idea. They do not have an opposable thumb, but they do have five digits on their hands. Five digits. Uh Uh-huh. They got, oh. they got five fingers. But not a thumb. The thumb acts as like a, pretend it's your index finger. Oh, it's just an extra finger. It's just an extra finger. So Maybe they can grab tough. stuff, but they don't. No thumb. Yeah. I'm just wondering what the capability of this kangaroo could be. Stop it. Well, what I mean, this look, kangaroo. Imagine you got four fingers, you have yeah. one of these, and you have no thumb to actually grab. grab. Yeah, and twist and spin. Quit. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But I think that. Why does that matter? I, I don't know, but why do you? Why is this kangaroo armed and dangerous? Oh no idea. Okay, I think it smuggled out some prison contraband and it's got a knife. Maybe it went to go pick up a load of, yeah. of pot for the inmates. Maybe and come Maybe. back. They knows it can, it's got a pocket of pot to bring it back. Yeah, it's Maybe most... it's part of a prison game. Maybe the 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 deadly hoppers. <laughs> Are the, <laughs> yeah. the the Rue clan? The Rue cl- oh, oh. Yeah. you don't want to mess with them. No, get them in the dark alley. Getting, oh, <laughs> well, oh knives, they got kni- they got knives. They got shivs. Oh what? <laughs> it's eight forty. Mornings with Barry and Hall here on Alabama's Country Giant WQSB. For today, it says even if you are on the right track, you will get run over if you just sit there. So it says even though you're on the right track, yeah. doing the right things, doing everything you're supposed to, if you just stop and let people pass by you, mm-hmm. you are going to get trampled. you got to get moving. you got to so, get yeah. moving. Just stay on that path. Like take a football team, for instance. Like uh, say, uh, say Alabama last year. Mm-hmm. They had a good year, but, you know, they were on the right path. They are on the right track. Uh, but uh, other teams were better than them last year. Mm. Hey, like Michigan. Mm. Uh, even though people will complain, you know, say no. Well, but still, you were doing the right things, but there were teams who kind of passed you or doing things a little bit better. So you got, even though you're doing the right thing, you've got to keep moving, keep yeah. moving forward. Don't be satisfied with what you have. Keep trying, yeah. trying to improve. 
try to do better. Every day we come in here, uh, my goal is I don't care if I've been doing this 10, 20, 30, 40 years. You can always do something better. Always. You can always do something better. Always. I don't think that we're ever above learning. No. And growing and changing and into good and better people. I think that yeah. that's something you can work on every single day, myself included. Mm -hmm. Once you get satisfied with where you're at, that's when people will pass you and do better and go around you. Mm -hmm. and leave you sitting there. Yeah. Just on that track. Keep moving forward. Yep. There you go. All right. It's 851. Mary and Holly. On Alabama's Country Giant. WQSB. Looking for the ultimate day out? Dive into the excitement at the Gadsden Mall. From latest fashion finds, one-of-a-kind shops, we've got something for everyone. Craving a bite? Indulge in a culinary adventure with a world of dining options right at your fingertips. Don't miss out on top-notch entertainment. Bowling, games, mini golf, box office films, so much fun for all ages. Experience it all at the Gadsden Mall, where shopping, food, and fun come together. Visit us today at the Gadsden Mall at 1001 Rainbow Drive, Gadsden.